Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about epoxy putty. An epoxy putty is uh, much thicker than um, like a two-part clear epoxy, or it's even thicker than the PC7 um, that we talked about. There are several different brands. This is also made by PC. Um, this is a PC Marine is what it's called. It's got a, a little bit longer work time. Um, this PC Metal, you can see it has a work time of only three minutes. Um, now what this is typically used for is, I will say that this is a less common epoxy too in ceramics. Usually people are using either a two-part kind of syringe style clear epoxy or PC7 or PC11. Um, but this can be nice to use the PC uh, putty. If you um, are doing things that you want to um, have a, a much thicker uh, sort of look to the epoxy. And so this little piece right here is just a little test piece um, kind of showing, you know, what the epoxy looks like. So this is the, uh, this PC Marine and, um, you know, so here's a little, um, you know, hard piece of it. And uh, so you can see it, it you know, it, it can be rolled up. You actually mix it in your hands. And so it can be rolled up like almost, you know, and it, it'll have the, the look and the feel almost like clay. Um, and so, you know, you can um, you can do some kind of interesting things with it. So it's something that should be kind of in your arsenal um, if you're working with epoxy. Uh, what I'd like to do is have everything ready to go, and I will I will mix this here. I'll mix a little piece for you. Um, so this is how you'll see it in the hardware store. Um, I typically recommend getting this kind of thing from Ace Hardware. They usually have a better selection uh, for epoxies than Home Depot. Um, and something like this will run anywhere from, you know, five, six, seven, eight dollars, something like that. Um, so uh, when you open your package, okay, always read the instructions. Um, now I'm gonna show you how to mix it, but always make sure and read the instructions. Um, and it comes in a little tube like this, okay? and if you peel off this end here, you can see that this is still a two-part epoxy. You see one part is out here and one part here is in the middle. Okay, so it's like a, like almost like a Twinkie or something. Um, and so what you need to do is when you mix this, you'll use your hands to manipulate it and mix the epoxy together until it's all the same color. Now, I don't like to just tear this off because then you'll smear a bunch of the epoxy in the middle of it. These things will last much longer if you just take a razor blade and you'll cut off as much as you need. Okay, there's a plastic, um, kind of a little, you can see a little piece of plastic that goes around here. I leave this on for the duration of the amount of time that I have this. And what I do is I just set it down here. I put a piece of cardboard down on the work surface and I just use my X-Acto blade and I'm just gonna kind of cut through it and what I'm trying to do here is I want to make sure and, and cut without squishing it, okay? Because I don't want to um, I don't want to mix the epoxy on the piece that I'm not going to use right now, you know? Okay, so um, you know, and I'll kind of just keep going around with a with the knife here, and you can see that I just cut that off without mixing the two parts of epoxy. Okay, so I still have this is unmixed with this. Now I put this little cap that, you know, comes with the epoxy. I put that back on there. I put it in there and this will last for many, many months. Okay. So I've had this for I, I'm probably four or five months at least. And um, so as long as you just, you know, keep it capped, don't mix it, you know, um, and then you can set that aside. And I set my razor blade aside. And then what I'll do is before I put my gloves on, I'm going to peel this little bit of plastic off here, okay? Once I do that, this is gonna get pretty sticky. You know, it's, 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 it's got a, you know, even this green part here is, is pretty sticky. So I take that little piece of plastic and just throw that away, okay? I recommend wearing gloves for this part, um, especially if you are then going to turn around and pick up your piece. Um, you will see the color from this will get all over these gloves. And um, so, you know, it washes off your hands pretty easily, but, um, you know, the thing with epoxy putty is that when it starts getting hard, it, it only takes a few minutes for it to get hard. And so you don't have as much time, like especially compared to the PC-11, you know, I, the PC uh, or PC-7, PC-7 and PC-11, you have a work time of 
several hours. This, um, you know, you'll have a work time anywhere from, from three to 10 minutes usually. Okay, so now that I have my gloves on, I use, I like to use these black uh, nitrile gloves because they're much tighter. Um, you'll see if you have a really loose glove, it, it, it's kind of hard to mix because the, the, the epoxy is so sticky, it sticks to the gloves. So then what I do is I just take the epoxy and I start mixing it. And you can kind of see that what happens is, is it'll start to become, you know, you can see the different parts still, but the more you mix it, the more it'll become all the same color. If you see any variance in the color, like to see this marbleization here of the green color, that is not properly mixed. You need to keep pushing it in your, you know, back and forth in your fingers here until you see only one color. And in this case, it should be white. You know, if you see any green in here, it is not mixed properly. And so what I'm doing is I'm folding it, like I squish it, fold it, squish it, fold it. And I will do this for several minutes. Now, if I'm working with the PC Metal, which has a work time of only three minutes, I will only do this for maybe a minute, okay? Until I see that I have, you know, all only one color. Now, um, obviously, since the work time is so short, whatever you're gluing, you're gonna wanna have everything ready to go. Um, so don't, you know, do this and then have to go get your peas and set it up and everything. Um, you know, you won't have a lot of time to work with this. But the cool thing is, is that you can actually roll it and you can, it has the consistency just like clay when it's soft, okay? So you can, you can roll it, you can wrap something around and stick it, um, you know. This also has a set time that's fast enough where you could hold two pieces of get together. You know, like if you had something where you couldn't set it down. Like for example, if you wanted to have this, um, something like this where you couldn't set the epoxy down cause you didn't want to get a flat edge on it. You know, you could take two pieces and just literally hold them together until they set. Okay. So, um, I will, in the case of this little test example, I will typically then roll these into like, like a, a little tiny sphere like that. And then, will um, then pick that up and, and use it to, you know, put two pieces of, of fired ceramic together. Um, so, um, so that's pretty much how you do it. Um, again, you know, just remember that it doesn't have a long work time. So, um, you know, you wanna make sure everything's ready to go beforehand and only mix the amount that you can use in a few minutes, okay? You know, you don't wanna mix half of that tube and then only be able to use 20% of it in the time before it sets. You can always cut more off and you, you know, you mix more, but once you squish those two, um, the two parts together, it starts to harden. You know, it'll, it'll, it'll start the chemical reaction to make it set, you know. So then if I'm going to work with pieces here, I would then take the gloves off like that, you know, and now my hands are cl clean and I can handle my object without getting that epoxy residue on the surface. Now, especially if you are doing something that has uh, a textured surface, you know, that's, you know, you don't want to get any epoxy residue there, but you know, once you, once you get it mixed up, like, you know, you can handle it. It's not really coming off too much here on my fingers. So, you know, you can at least handle it to get it to stick on something. Um, so again, there's several different colors. There's several different brands. Um, just make sure and read the instructions, but generally, um, epoxy putties are nice, uh, to use if you want to have a consistency that is, you know, just like clay, like it's moldable, it's malleable and it'll hold its shape and it's not going to drip. Okay. It's not going to like drip down the surface of something. So, um, again, this is called PC Marine. And this other one here, this darker one, is called PC Metal. Um, and again, you can find that at most hardware stores. So, um, so give it a try and check out the other epoxy videos and um, make sure that this type of epoxy is um, kind of in your, um, you know, in your arsenal of tools to use, um, especially if you're interested in doing any post-firing assembly.